Hello, Stephanie. This will be some Milestone 3 feedback, which is primarily on the leap behind. Now there's a thunderstorm passing over us, so um, I hope this is clear. Now, Stephanie, uh, I, I see that there, there hasn't been any changes, right, since uh, I looked at this two weeks ago. Just to quickly reiterate, uh, smaller type in general, I like the way this looks. Um, maybe the watercolor splash uh, is good. I reread your uh, discussion board post, and I see that it is faith-based work, or you want to incorporate faith-based work. So I think, um, with respect to that, I think your logo had your logo on, on your letterhead, uh, well, and also elsewhere on your business card, is appropriate because it's general. It's um, it it could be seen as you know spiritual. It certainly doesn't uh, it doesn't def uh, what's the word? contradict that context. So I think it's um, it's a gentle way of encompassing a number of different um, aspects to your business or your interests. And the leave behind, um, I am uh, to understand that it is a small portfolio, and I I, I would I think would react better if uh, your examples of work weren't just clustered on a single page. Consider setting them like a Tiffany diamond ring okay uh, with maybe one sample per panel or per page and with captions watch your typography uh, it needs to be a lot smaller um, be to take a delicate touch with typography and print things out because you'll find that the decisions you're making on the screen are quite a bit different than <clears throat> what you see in print and for a printed uh, portfolio that's particularly important also to moving forward you'll have to become aware of how to Oh, what's the word? Regulate color uh, across platforms and uh, trying to get RGB color to be similar to uh, CMYK color, you know, is, is it requires a bit of knowledge. So you'll get more of that, of course, uh, in your capstone course. And I think you've got a good start. At least you are aware of what you're going to need uh, moving forward. Good job.